Oh. What is going on, losers? Welcome to Lost Loser Podcast. I am your host, Mr. John Bequette. Joined next to me, my beautiful bride, the Tots of the Show, Miss Andrew Bequette. Hey. the Show. <laughs> Captain Creepy coming from Dallas, Mr. Donnie Porter himself. What's happening? And coming from you from somewhere in shithole Kentucky or Kentucky. Kentucky. Young yeah. James. <laughs> how's up? everyone going this? How's everyone doing this week? What's going on? Everyone <clears throat> shitty. Same as usual. I know why you're shitty. Yeah. We, I'm ready wanna... for the long weekend. I think everyone's really ready for a long weekend. I totally forgot that it was a holiday. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, it's Labor, it's Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. Dude, my oh. fucking popping out. <laughs> I'm trying to like push my shirt out because they're just like, you're hey, the hey. tots of the show for a reason. So just run with it here, lady. Don't even get the brats. Yeah, all right. So before we get into everything, out. if you're watching on YouTube and my wife adjusting her tits right now, please do us a favor and hit the subscribe button. You get to see it all week and every time hit the notification so you see all the See every time she does that. I don't. Um, if you're listening on Anchor, become a subs- uh, you can be a sponsor of the podcast, 99 cents a month, just a dollar, dollar a month. Or if you want to give more like other people, thank you, Sissy Johnson. You're amazing. You can do that as well. Um, all right. Now we'll get into everything. All right. Okay. Now that I've officially opened this show. All right. <laughs> How is everyone's good? Did anybody who wants to go first with the weird shit that we have learned over the week i've I mean, learned I, that people I, are not reliable duh. donnie i guess well donnie what took you that long yeah i want to know i want to know how this brain science fucking worked oh. out for you so I, did i send you the video of what happened last week can we re- oh dude i wish you would email that to us i would have shared it on the podcast we gotta show it everybody yeah I had some dumbass do something stupid on a forklift, so he got fired. And another guy who does the exact same job decided he was moving too far away, so he quit. And then another guy that just stopped coming to work. Cool. Yeah. So I've been, like, trying to fill positions. I hired, like, six people this week. One guy lasted two days. I was like, (laughs) son of a bitch. Ow, what? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's that's what we deal with. Well, is there is there starting pay based on like their experience or does it have like a flat rate? They start out through a temp service and it's uh, a low it's a it's I mean, it's like four bucks an hour. You that's know? a you're just going to get fucking recycled all shit anyways. No, that's fucking- not always. Not always. I've got a lot of my hourly pr- employees started out through there. The really? thing is, like if they like the, the, I had I can skip a whole process of shit just by, you know, Using that. going yeah going through the temp service i was just like sorry dude that was unsafe gotta let you go and he goes away and i don't have to do shit yeah it sucks was... it, it's a pain in the ass like most of the employees are shit but you know you get the yeah. ones that like this is the only way i can get a job and i really need an opportunity you know i've had a, i've had several of those well that means gonna get better chance and they'll work their ass off dude. hey man just look at it this way. In 10 months, it's going to get real good for you. All right. So we'll, we'll see. You'll we'll be see. all right. You'll be all right. All right, yeah. Jamie. I see you itching over there. Well, like, uh, I was wondering, does part of that have to do with the Texas uh, rights to workers or whatever law where you can just fire them for, like, I don't like looking at you? Uh-huh. No. With a, with, a, with a company like this, you got to you got to write them up at least 3 times before you can fire. Them. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. HR HR union? won't let you just fire people. No. It's just oh. that's just the way corporate works, you know. You got to have yeah. documented incidents like unless they do something extremely dangerous and stupid, you can just fire them. For well, at no least they're reason. not union, dude. You don't have to do like six write-ups for the no. same incident. No. That no, shit I, sucks. They can always yeah. eh, you be all right. All right. Weird shit. What else? Anybody? Jamie? Uh, learned that I'm more comfortable with my body than thought. So I just went. You have an jumping. elephant trunk. Congratulations. He's, a, he's now a nudist. <laughs> yeah. I'm now a nudist. Oh. You know. Uh, went cliff jumping with like girlfriend and some of her friends. And they were just 
in a group talking about hey we used to like do naked jumps do naked backflips off this cliff and all that stuff and it started like from one side of the conversation everyone kind of put their two cents and ended off with me and I'm just like this seems like it's heading to me having to do this <laughs> and just kind of had that conversation and let it go for an hour or so and ended up my girlfriend jumped in with another friend naked and I was just like oh all right so shit's happening already and eventually just randomly walked off when someone was like hey let's go cliff jumping it was only two of us and just like stripped down as I was walking away and uh Crystal was in the water past everyone and so I just started yelling her name so everyone turns around and looks at me while I'm just like holding my cock just like what's up <laughs> and did you slowly... helicopter did you helicopter him or yes. did you do the Tommy Lee you know the tuck no I helicoptered with the, the sock on because like after I yelled at everyone and had them look uh, while we were walking up, the guy was making a joke about, hey, you should get a sock or something if you have one. And I had an extra one in my backpack because I use it for smoking stuff to keep it safe. And Hey, Jamie, uh, leave some what? information out, man. You don't need to tell everyone your business, all right? <laughs> 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 you know, this is going on the internet. You can just leave details out. Nah. Not everyone needs to know that you smoke crack. Okay, not like continue. a crack pipe or anything. It's fine. Liar. Anyways, continue um but grab the sock and put it over and everything as i'm like running up to the cliff and uh up at the cliff everyone just kind of finally turns and is like what the fuck is going on and just shake it out in front of everyone and uh jump off while people are recording and everything it was just did you wait hold hilarious. on tell me, did you say you're gonna shake you shook it off for everyone I mean, shook it. Yeah, I guess so. Just out in the air. I don't know. <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> just, just. So what yeah, was I'm the point of the modest for that? What's the point of the fucking sock now? It's just for com comedic effect. It was just if you shook funny. it at everyone, there's no point of the socks there. Flee from Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> They actually all did it. Yeah, no, okay. Anthony Kiedis. And I was all those about guys. to say it was all of them. Yeah, they did it for they did they remade the Beatles Abbey Road cover, but they wore they wore, wore battle helmets and socks. That was it. Well, they, earlier in, and they like, did it live on stage. That's what yep. I was about yeah, to they say. Did live on, so did Blink One Eighty Two. A lot of people have done it. Blink One Eighty Two's done it. Lame. Jim Carrey Noir. did it in front of Rich Richard Pryor at the comedy club or the comedy store. <laughs> Every time nice. Gore performs, all he wears is a... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I've seen Gore live a couple of times. So, babe, what do you got? Any, what did you learn this week? You said Jamie's a nudist. Donnie hates... Well, Donnie knows employees <laughs> suck. What did you learn? Uh, I really don't think I learned anything. Is that a I, new I, shirt, Johnny? I, no, man. I've had this shirt for a long time. Oh, it just I finally just fits my fat ass. Nice. I like it. Thank you. It's my clutch. Uh, God damn it. Shirt. Rock and roll up. Tour, tour shirt. Yes. Got it at the concert. <laughs> yes, I got it. I'm trying to think of the name <laughs> of the song. Noble Savage is the name of the song. It's, uh, and it has the lyrics, you know. Red. It's one of my oh, fucking clutch song. I know what I learned. Thank you. Sorry, that was completely random. I knew I wanted to talk about it, but my brain's fried, so... I learned, and this is not something new that I learned, but I learned that, and this is probably going to piss people off, but rip, our president is an absolute disrespectful piece of shit. Oh, so yeah. I Agreed. went to, that was, I went that to was some shit. Seeing oh, that, like. I went to drop off some food at my parents' house. Okay. And my dad's like, oh, thank you. Nom, nom, nom. And he's like, Hey, my dad's not a political guy. Like can't, doesn't usually talk about it. Whatever. It's like, do you see the shit that Biden pulled? I'm like, well, this is this must be bad if dad's bringing it up. I'm like, no, what, <laughs> what the hell happened? He's like all those the 14 uh, Marines that were that were coming back, like and doing the I forget what they call it. There's it's a process. It's like an exchange process. It's bringing the a, bodies home. Yeah, they're bringing the bodies home and Biden would salute. And then he turned he looked down at his watch just like this after every single one of them. I, I, he showed me the video. I'm like, you've got to fucking be kidding me. So he'll like, 
Yeah, like blame lip dick salute, like woo. And then he'd look at his watch and then he'd put his hand down. And then the next coffin would come out and he'd be like, yay. And then he'd look at his watch again. So as someone who came from a very military family, you know, my dad was in for 22 plus years. That, that's your commander in chief right there. Way to yeah. go. That, yeah, that, was- that is incredibly <laughs> fucking disrespectful. Like I didn't have yep. respect for the guy anyway, because he's a fucking blubbering idiot. But now this just, well, the comments that the families made, they're like the one they were like, I, I refuse to see him. I refuse to meet with him. And then the one guy did confront him about it and say stuff to him. He said that Biden talked more about his own son than he did his who had just lost his life for the country. Well, so yeah, that's what I learned. Let's be honest. Prayers to Hunter. You know, Jamie has his crack pipe. <laughs> that was that was fucked up sorry babe i, I had a light i had to lighten up because i am i'm not happy with the situation over there i'm we try to keep things real light around here we don't yeah. want to be political or anything like that yeah. and stuff like that and i'm that the whole situation over there fucking especially so something and this is why it really irritates me so if i dude if i get emotional for a minute you got let, yeah, let me have you yeah let me have this thing, one bro um, especially after Sunday. So we went to the funny bone Sunday, uh, went to open mic, uh, had a really good time. It was fun. Cheap date, night. cheap date. night. it was fun. A lot of good little local comics going up there doing four minute mics, four minute stance or four minute sets. I don't even think it was four minutes. Was it? Uh, three, four minute sets. Some uh, of them. Some were three. Hurry some up. One, yeah. <laughs> one guy, was, there was one dude getting his candle, the candle waved at him and they're yeah. going like this, waving them off. But anyways, uh, <laughs> Uh, so one of the comedics, uh, com- stand-up comedies walked, I'm sitting, we got put up front row and he looked at me, he goes, you look like a sailor, like a guy who was <laughs> j-. and he went to go into this bit and she chuckled. I went, yeah, I'm a sailor. And he goes, really? I went, I was in the Navy for six years. And that's all I said. And the look of terror right. on this poor kid's face for his bit, he went, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it. I, I, I got, I, oh, oh my God, this is not working. And like, literally, and started, I'm like, dude, say your bit. And he goes, I'm like, say your joke. He goes, I'm not saying it. I'm like, no, please say it, dude. It'll be, ha, 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 I'm funny. It'll be funny. And she is going, and he's laughing. The people in front of us are kind of starting to chuckle. And he was like, and I'm moving on and just kind of went his bit. So, as soon as, so I might have, I, I might have gave him a look like my eyes got real big, kind of like the, yeah. You know, and I was like, so I'm like, you sure I, you want to do this? Son? I'm yeah, like, please hey, don't. I'm like, dude, it'll be fun. It'll be a funny joke. I'm like, you might not like me after it because I'm going to insult the fuck out of you, but it'll be great for everybody here. At that point in time, I'm probably like. So great. anyways, so I get up <laughs> right after that. I uh, kill my beer. I get up. I go use the restroom. Uh, I walk out at the club, go use the restroom. I come walking out of the restroom and this gentleman stops me. And he goes, hey, man, uh, tall guy, super really nice guy. Uh, mm-hmm. And this is where it kind of, fu- and this is where it kind of got me. Sorry, my He goes, hey, man, are you, are you the sailor? I was like, I'm like, yeah, I was, and he goes, how long? And he goes, Navy. He goes, you're in the Navy? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I was in the Navy for, I was in the Navy for just under six years. He was Marine. Eight years or twelve years, eight twelve years, something like that. Whatever he said, he goes, yeah, man. He goes, he goes, man. I'm really sorry. He, he goes, uh, he goes, he looks at me. He goes, hey, man. I'm really sorry. I'm like, sorry for what? That what he said. I'm like, I don't fucking. He goes, no, man. I'm really sorry about what happened yesterday. He goes, I'm happy that you lost one. He goes, I'm sorry that you lost one. And I looked at him, and you could see this guy, like his face, like he, the, he, he, when he was in the Marines, he seen some shit. Oh yeah. You when you looked at his face. You knew he was more broken up in about these 12 people that he never has, or 13 people, 13 Marines, one Navy corpsman, if I know forever correctly. He was more broken up about those 13, 14 people that he's never met in his entire life than anything. And you could see it in his face to the point where it fucked with me. Yeah. So I believe that's where it kind of. Like I got up after the show to make sure I wouldn't say goodbye to the guy. Like if he's seeing this today, dude, fucking reach out, say hi, introduce yourself again, dude. Uh, he couldn't been fucking nicer or a sweeter gentleman at that moment in time. So it was very nice 
of him to do that. Mm -hmm. And you can, and I can just seeing that in his face was really like, it fucked with me emotionally. Like if you see this on YouTube, fucking tears are coming up in my eyes right now, but yeah, yeah, it was very, so to see, say what you want about the, the previous commanders and chiefs, Trump saluting a fucking China or Korean general fucking Obama placing a reef at a fucking dead uh, or at the f- a monument for one of the admirals that uh, tr- decided to attack Pearl Harbor, whatever you want to do. It irritates the fuck out of you when you see shit like that, no matter what. So, yep. And that's the reason why it irritates, irritates you is when you fucking see gentlemen like that, that have gone there, fucked with it. People like, you know, Jamie, you know, I know, you know, it, the shit like that irritates you. Yeah. Where, where it's, if, if the time would have been right, that could have been a family friend. Yeah. Stuff that, that kind of thought process is what hits me is like, we've, we've had those videos of those people that we had or, you know, so that's the part that's like, what the fuck? Or it's really weird when, you know, it's really weird when you are like on a ship, like especially guys in the center. Excuse me, swallow, John. <laughs> I, was, I, was almost, I was almost fucking choked right, my Daddy. own saliva. I'm like almost choked my own saliva there for a minute. I'm like, <laughs> I you like me, and me, Andrew like the guy. No, no, no shit. <laughs> so like the guys that are in the navy, people that are in the navy that have been on ships that have been on deployment. And you have to be in certain areas at certain times. That's how they keep track of naval ships. You have to check in. Like naval ships have to check in and be in certain spots by certain times. And if they're not there, they have to know why. So when your ship yeah. is catching up on time and then you're, sh- and you're, you're speeding through the water and you go dead stop for hours, <clears throat> not just for a few minutes, but for hours, you start asking questions. What's going on? And then when you see a, like a crypto tech or an I or an intelligence specialist come out and their face is white and they're like, our orders might be changing. Can't say shit yet. Or something came across or something. We got to go do something or something like that. And there's been naval times. That, oh, okay. What do we got? What, what do we get to go do today? Because the Navy's in the forefront. And that's why the Marines are in the forefront. That's why we do this shit. That's why we do this shit. And, and it fucks with you. And those guys fuck with it. And then see shit like that. to fucking irritate you. Yep. Okay. Let's go to happier fucking times. Sorry, everybody. Let's go to fucking happier times. <laughs> you asked me what I learned this week. I know. That's what we learned. He, well, we knew going into that. He was a ding dong. But that's neither here nor there. All right. Hey, I got an idea. Since today is September 1st, October 1st is coming up very shortly. We got about four or five of these before we do. Before four or five months, we put these out. I've got an idea for you guys. We're going to start gearing up for something. Oh, boy. You got, that's the way I want to give you a month update, a month heads up. That way you can start working it into your schedule. Okay. Let's do an October. Like, you know how Rogan, Segura, all those guys do the silver October? All right. We're not, I'm not going to cut drugs. I'm not going to cut weed out of my diet. I'm not going to let it go. I'm not going to go that deep. But I can cut booze out of my system, no problem. I already I think, do that as it is. <laughs> I think we should go in October should be a fitness challenge. We should go on a 30 day diet. Cause I'm almost my goal as well. I have nine more I'm pounds to go. I Let's thought you were going to say the no drug thing. And I'm just like, I just met new people though. Right. No, <laughs> I, just got, I got some new stuff that was really very delightful. <laughs> I just got new connections guys. Right. No. So here's my idea. You go on a 30, the 30 day diet, 31 day diet. There's 31 days in October, correct? Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. 31 day diet. You have to go ex- you have to do exercise every day. You have to take a class. I don't care if it's a yoga class, a speech therapy class, a karate class, whatever. If you want to go take a tactical combat class one day, you have to you can do whatever you want. You have to take at least one different class a week or at least four total for the month how about that all right can it be just be like an online thing like hey i'm gonna watch an online yoga class yeah uh, i mean are you saying i physically have to go register somewhere to go i I ain't got time i I could do it here and like watch the right educational video or whatever you know what i mean jamie i say that it just needs to be evidence behind it that's all 
Well, so you can take like an hour long course. There's like there an hour long course on class online that you could take. This is like, yeah. like a gun safety class where that's an hour long. No, stuff like that doesn't count because that takes that's a permit at oh, the well, end of it. Well, you know what I mean. But I no, but you know, you know safety. I don't want to have to pay for <laughs> but you want to take like an hour like yoga class online. Or something or like, or, a, a, like an, or like a 30 to 45 minute yoga class online or a or YouTube or something or yeah. shit, you could go boxing. So that's or go boxing. That's a class. Yeah, you can go boxing. That's a class. You can go do pro wrestling training. Donnie's like, what the yes. <laughs> You go do pro, pro wrestling training. How about that? Anything like other than out of the norm that you normally do? Like I walk every day. Everyone knows I walk three and a half miles every day. So you got to do extra. But I'm going to do with like an extra class. Like yep. one, one day out of that week, I'm going to go to like a yoga class in the morning or go to. I'm down. Something like that. Maybe like a water aerobics. Donnie. I'm just I'm I'm thinking about what I could do because I've got softball that I'm getting ready to start, and then well, softball in October too. Donnie, since you are a full time worker of your management, your octo your fucking softball course, I'll allow your soft, but you have to work out every day. Yeah, I got I can do that. Something. I got the gym shit yep. upstairs. Yeah, but, so, yeah, but his- you have to document it. So you have to. We're going to do this on social media. So we have All to. Right. We'll do like. Should we do it? On, we'll do it on Twitter since everyone's on Twitter. We'll just make it yeah. easy that way. And we just tag the podcast like October, October challenge this day one. Day one. And then we all post like, this is what we're doing. And then we'll post like on the, this is my class for the week. My I week one class. I got a old Apple watch I can use, you know, I don't like okay. that shit. And then on my wrist. if like, do you guys you, have an opinion on the phone, like wrist phones or the smart watches because that shit is like weird to me i feel like it's I too don't close use, i don't use my smart watch as a phone like yeah i i didn't even get the cellular thing like if i if i don't have my phone on me i'm not going to answer through my fucking watch yeah, you know what yeah. i mean i don't have that. i have when it's been like the kids calling me or something and i've been doing laundry my phone's upstairs i'm like hello and you can just flip it and on. it's yeah. yeah but i just use it basically for other i mean it's just my watch. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. Be updated, but I can't. I can't wear a watch or anything on my wrists. Oh yeah, I don't like, safety. Well, yeah, I hardly. That, but like, it's so hot, and I sweat. Uh. I get like fu- I get like AIDS on my wrist and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the only time, the only time I wear my watch is when I leave the house. If I'm at home, I don't have a watch on. If that's I'm weird. I like that. But I'll have I a. Just... But I have my Lost Losers bracelet. If you want one of these, email me. Someone tells one. me what time it is. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah okay. Got a watch, but I have to get it repaired. There you it's go. Like a All right. If cutesy you... little flower. Thing. Of course you would. <laughs> so all right. If you fail to meet the requirements, 31 day diet, exercise every day, one class, four classes in the month. If you want to take knock out all four classes. In the first week, knock them out. But Donnie, you're okay. doing your softball, but you have to do at least four a softball game every week. At yep, least every Sunday. I got a kickball game every Thursday, softball game every Sunday. All right. There you go. There you go. Sound like the average. If Lithium. you fail, if okay. one of us fail in this, <laughs> there has to be a punishment of some sort, right? Yeah. What do you think the punishment should be? Good question. It has to be something big. Here was my thought. My thought was a sign that says, I lost the October challenge. Or uh, just you have to make a board. It says, I lost the Lost Losers October challenge podcast, the LLP challenge, October challenge. And have it up in the background. Nope. You have to go to a major intersection (laughs) in an adult diaper. That's a hard no. Get your picture taken. Holding the sign. That's it. You want me to purposely lose? No, I don't want you to purposely lose. <laughs> don't lose. If you don't want to do it, don't don't lose. I also have 8,000 different things going on, too. So if I'm behind a day or something, you know what I mean? I know. Like, I'm down for a punishment, but not that. If you want me to wear a diaper around the house, that's different. 
you know, I'm not fucking standing out on a, I don't care. Like you can. Yeah, my thought is it's going to be something. Well, for you, I would just be like a toga. Yeah, why don't you do something on the podcast? Like, yeah, my thought is like, you got to wear something for an episode or something like that. Well, think, all right. Think about punishment. I want to see Donnie in the Christmas story bunny suit. (laughs) (laughs) Like that's where my mind goes. Like if John loses, he has to dress up like Bon Jovi. Yeah, we'll think of something. Think of something, Snowball. We got until october 1st all right so yep. everyone's in we just got to think of a pun- punishment and we'll hammer it in all right what did i learn this week i had here's what i've learned this is the one thing i majorly learned the, the song by faces if you know the band faces jamie do you know the band faces yes rod stewart right mm-hmm. yeah he might have, they might have the most savage one night stand songs of all time. He really might. The song Stay With Me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Maybe you know what I'm talking about? Yes. All right. Do you know the story behind Delilah? The song hey there, Delilah. I don't want to hear about it. The plain white tees? Yeah. Apparently he stalked her for years <laughs> it was like some olympic gymnast that he stalked for years and wrote a song about and eventually got put on a late night show with the girl and everything and she was just super creeped out the entire time while he was like yeah i've, I've been in love with her like i've been wanting to see her for years and like all this creepy shit what are you doing i'm looking up the lyrics so he so okay so yeah that's creepy let me tell you how fucking savage though did you you know this song faces right donnie the band the band faces the song faces. stay with me mm. rod stewart rod stewart probably know yeah. you heard it you know what i'm talking about right yep yep you ever listen to the lyrics this is one of the things man i've learned opening line of the song in the morning don't say you love me because i'm going to kick you right out that door <laughs> classic i know your name is rita because your perfume smelling sweeter than since i saw you on the floor (laughs) dude it is fucking dude he is savage oh yeah dude you don't need me or much so much persuading i don't mean to sound degrading but with a face like or a face like that you ain't not got nothing to laugh about (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> red lips hair and fingernails i heard you're a mean old jezebel let's go read my tarot cards of course stay with me stay with me right and this is where he gets brutal so in the morning please don't tell me you love me because you know i'll kick you right out that door i'll pay for your cab fare home you can even use my best cologne just don't be here when i wake up <laughs> <laughs> Rod Stewart faces might cheers, be the most cheers. savage fucking song, one night stand song of all time. Hell yeah. That's what one of the things I learned this week. Another thing I learned this week can we officially end fucking dating games, reality dating shows? I don't watch Which, any of them. So. Yeah, I, I, don't, I avoid that kind of shit. All right, there. I did see they did the naked and afraid one. That's where I'm getting at. Yeah, Wait, D- Discovery Plus has a <laughs> naked and afraid dating game. Oh, they reality dating uncensored. show, huh? <laughs> I thought you were gonna just say uncensored, and I was gonna be like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they had something like that on the Playboy channel a long time ago, but yes, Jamie, no, naked and afraid, the dating show reality dating show on discovery plus so naked attraction has been a thing for years overseas which is another naked dating show but you have to survive in the wild naked yeah that's and try to fuck yeah yeah all right i kind of want to watch this (laughs) like (laughs) it's on discovery i'm down i just can't hear the curse yeah i was watching survivor on what paramount plus i think it is yeah why is there so many? Because there's way too many to me pluses. 
All right. Another thing I learned. You all ready for it? It could be ready like 1997 again. Jamie, this is before you were born. So I was about to say, I'm fucking someone from then. <laughs> Look at you go. Good for you. Limp Biscuit's supposed to be coming out with some new music later this year or uh, early next year. Is it going to be like ballroom jazz with his new haircut? I have no idea. Like something like Richard <laughs> Cheese would do. Yeah. He's going to be on a piano all of a sudden. Donnie, be, Donnie's like, fuck I, see, it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> they have to they, evolve, Donnie. Didn't they just cancel a bunch of shows and shit? They did a bunch of tours. Yeah, right, they canceled. Like, they canceled all their tours. They canceled the rest of their tours for safety reasons. Watch, they're because gonna, of COVID. They're going to do it like flogging Molly. They're going to go lock themselves in a house for fucking a few months and just come out with music. Well, supposedly the music's already... They've been saying they're going to come out with new music since Gold Cobra came out in nine or two thousand and nine. I don't know. No, I, Gold I lost Cobra track of was, them after was I like twelve them. or something. Uh, Gold Cobra was two thousand twelve. I thought it was like two thousand nine or two thousand eleven or ten. I don't think it's that early. I don't know what you're talking about. Because that's I remember yeah. listening to that shit. It was so school. terrible. It was I don't, a I don't know either. Terrible Limp Bizkit album. Oh. Um, all right other thing another thing i learned i didn't know i needed to see serena williams as wonder woman in a movie but i think i want to see it now did you see the direct tv commercial with her at, no. for the new direct tv stream commercial no, no. I didn't. she is like in a one in wonder woman i'm like nailed it serena williams is raised loop. <laughs> <laughs> serena williams <laughs> Nailed it as Wonder Woman. Just saying, she looks good. I like to see it. I, look, I I would love to see it. It was, it was. I give it two thumbs up. I'm like Roger Ebert on it. She looked good. She could play the role very well. I think. Eh. No. Meh. I thought fucking I, John Cena was great as Peacemaker. <laughs> that was a good movie. That was good. Not the movie completely. Don't say that. But. It I was, didn't watch it. It's still it's worth watching. It's a fun movie, but like I think me and Andrea are pretty much on the same book of I don't know that I need to see it again. No, I I haven't the watched Suicide it Squad. Again. I have not watched it again. I watched it three yeah. times. Not even gonna be mad at myself. I just like the village scene. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, have you seen it yet, Donnie? Yeah, I watched it again okay. with Crystal, nope. but after that, like I'm good. Yeah. yeah. I just like the village scene because when he there's this part in it when he's like, now you're just showing off. He's like, not if you're showing off as dope as fuck. <laughs> and I was always like, fuck, he's right. It's fucking great. I love the part. Just saying. Him and Idris Elba and like bouncing off each other was great. All right. And here's the last thing I learned. Weird thing I learned this week. Uh, I think swingers and don't take offense to this gay men, but I think you guys are about ready to go popping off. And having some good times because did you know there's an HIV prevention pill? Yes. Really? Yeah. They Just learned that. Huh? There is, is a like prescription that people can go on for if you they if you live that lifestyle to prevent HIV. And it's 99 percent effective for sex, preventing HIV and sexually transmission. And, and there's one that seventy nine within forty eight hours, it'll won't do anything. Seventy nine percent effective against drug use, so like needle sharing. Jesus, what's that? Why, like, you're taking a pill so you can fucking shoot up? Yeah, that's. I don't think that's going to be their thought process. You know what? I'm just going by what the article that I read. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I read it off the CDC website because I heard there was an HIV prevention pill and I oh. had to Google it. And I that's what I read. Up the pill too. Yeah, like <laughs> oh, man, wouldn't you just be snorting it at that point? That. <laughs> wouldn't you just be snorting it at that moment in time? Probably. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, you know, that's all I got. That's the weird shit that I learned this week. You know, Rod Stewart, Savage back in the day. <laughs> Limp Biscuits coming out with some new music. Serena Williams look good. And now we know Jamie's a nudist and he's going to go on the HIV prevention pill. All right. 
and OnlyFans <laughs> is still in the process because I was stopping for a while because there was that thought of them not having sexual content, but they found a bank to back them with pornographic content. So we're good. Yeah, no, I've seen that. We talked about that last week. If you were <clears throat> would have been here last week, you would have known that OnlyFans got rid. They decided they backed off of still ha- or the not having yeah banning porn it was just because they thought the the bank they were working with it was going to ba- back out and then they were able to find another one that's like hey we like porn <laughs> the money maker so, yeah exactly all right oh here's another thing i have learned this week when you get stale shrooms <clears throat> oh yeah that was funny oh no i have a different story for you jamie when you get stale shrooms, sometimes they have a delay effect. Sometimes you, when you eat six of them, they have a really delay effect. Nice. Good thing the delay effect only lasts 45 minutes instead of the normal six hours when you're on that train because you're eating stale. But never, ever have a panic attack with my wife because this honest person Literally looked at me and she goes, how are you feeling today? I went, well, the shrooms, I, this, the stale shrooms a little had a, had a, had a little delayed reaction. And I'm middle of a panic attack, like to the point where I have the blanket like this. She looked at me and she goes, I can tell. I went, <laughs> and before I could say, oh, okay. She is already turning around and walking out of the room. Could give two shits less of where I'm at <laughs> mentally at that moment in time. She was just like this. Like if she had headphones on, she did one of these things. She went like this. She went, so, oh, you're feeling, uh, okay. (laughs) She left me. I think fair enough at this point. Yep. Write it out, buddy. Fair enough. All right. Write it out. That's all I could do, man. That's all I can do. That's all I could do. All right. Was it worth it? <clears throat> Not for what I paid. Nah. They were just like they were stale. Not, not great. Not great quality. I don't think it did anything. You know, it made me it made like it just and you know how you normally you, like if you microdose and it just takes that edge off. That's what it was. But it was like a panic taking the edge off because it wasn't the full effect of them but it was just enough to just make you know it was there it was just right. it was like weird if the, i could just say it. it was a weird with these i don't know i think because they're old and the only reason why i knew that is because someone else gave me some and it was like here i've had these for a minute try these and it was the same effect and the, but i knew those were a good strand before mm-hmm. it is what it is gotcha you know i had a weird one this weekend because i had a whole cocktail of stuff and ended up like dissociating and throwing up into a, a <laughs> trash can for like 45 minutes straight jesus all right i don't want to know i'm getting away from the drug talk <laughs> all right i'm gonna let you i gotta i gotta jamie shut up when i talk about this just shut up because <laughs> we talked about this for a little bit last night so i just want you to you already know i'm kind of going with this I want you to know if this is real life or Hallmark movie or Lifetime movie. All right. Okay. I'm going to give you the breakdown of the movie of, of the script. And then you tell me if it's real life or Lifetime. Lady kills husband in self-defense. Lady and husband say they owned a restaurant together. Mm-hmm. Lady and husband get in an argument. Husband say grabs a knife. Lazy shoots husband in head four times. <laughs> wow. I'm going to go real life. Yeah, that's Lady, real life. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, okay. I'm not done yet. Lady then gets cleared as for self-defense. Lady then sends off body to get tested to make sure there was nothing mentally fucking wrong with the husband. Did because he doesn't always act like that. He didn't always get moody and mean in their arguments and grab a knife. But she shot him in the face four fucking times. It's going to be a little hard to test, I would say, but whatever. 
Not only did she shoot him in the face four fucking times, she also planned his funeral and wrote his obituary as a loving wife. Real or lifetime? I still say real. I'm changing mind to lifetime. Andrea wins. It's a real story. <laughs> Not only is it a real story, it came out of... <laughs> I, I used to work for the people. It is out of... Where do you live at, Jamie? Ashland, Kentucky. Ashland, Kentucky. Blazer, Blazer's Barn Grill. Jesus. And I used this... to work there as like a line cook. And eventually... I left because the chef went off on me and said that I'm uh, worthless and a waste of space to my face. And so I ended up fucking like throwing shit and just leaving the kitchen. And the bartender, like two of the bartenders ended up being like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, it's chef's kitchen. He can do what he wants. And I was like, the fuck he can. And was just out. Nope. Not today, dude. Not today. So... Yep, this lady shot her husband in the face four times. Not once, not twice, but four. He must have been a dick. No. Not not from anything I've ever experienced from him. Not anything anyone has ever said. He was a doctor on top of being the pastry pastry chef for this restaurant. There was never any story of anything abuse wise in their household nothing they had fucking four or five kids my age and lower and just all this shit that's crazy she moved him from south america uh, like an insane story and uh ended up moving him and his best friend from south america to come up and work in the state oh. in the states and stuff dude it sounds like a lifetime movie doesn't it <clears throat> yeah this lady goes on vacation, meets an exotic guy. Yeah. They kind of, you know, dance with each other, sweating, not knowing what each other's saying. Like Stella got a group back. Yeah. All they know, a couple of kids, want to fuck, get married, move him to the States, bring his best friend, open up a fucking Mexican joint or whatever. I wonder if he found out she was fucking the best friend. And then argument ensues. <laughs> he gets shot in the face four times. Yep. She That's- said it was an argument over money. That's all she said. How she insane is this? But not the best part is that she wrote his obituary. That's the part yeah. that makes it even better. She was just like, he was a loving husband. <laughs> right. Allegedly. And shot him on Easter. <laughs> just- oh, shit. No, no, no. Not Easter. Father's Day. It was Father's Day. <laughs> it was St. Saint- fantastic father wouldn't harm the children at all was never abusive to me but needed to be put down four times with fucking slugs of the face kind of, what size caliber yeah, what, yeah was, uh, you have a face left no not really so and what it, it was uh a, just a concealed pistol okay so like a 22 probably eh. but still it's still fucking up Oh yeah, you're know, like eh. if it's a nine. That's what I'm saying. Like, is it like, a, like is it a forty-five or something? You know, oh, if it's a God. nine, it's gonna leave nothing. Like, Dude, a three fifty-seven would leave a big ass fucking hole in your head. There's, listen, let's be honest. Those people that are doing tests to see if this guy was off his rocker <laughs> ain't testing much. No, they're gonna literally get the body and be like, "Oh, there's the problem. He ain't got no fucking brain." <laughs> there's, a, there's your problem, <laughs> there's, ma'am. There's, there's, do you know your husband doesn't have a head? <laughs> just, so here's like, what yeah. happened. <laughs> well, figured it out. <laughs> he ain't got no fucking head. That's what happened. Holy shit. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> just being the fucking guy opened up. Hey, man, you want me to do what? You want me to test right. his head? He ain't got no fucking head. It's like Swiss cheese. Like, what the fuck? You- like, I'm guessing they're looking for certain enzymes or previous damage. But like CTE damage. I guess. I guess you can test for CTE what, still. Yeah, maybe there would be uh-huh. barely any bruising, if any, left. And then the, the enzymes br- 
I guess those would be fine. The hormones and enzymes would be fine if the glands didn't get hit. The bruising would be the bullet going passing through the fucking his brain yeah, tissue, wouldn't it? That's what I mean. That's what it's like. Jesus. There's really not much to test. There wouldn't be much to test there. No. No. All right. Well, there's one crazy lady in the news today. <laughs> Ready for number two? Don't worry, ladies. I'm not bashing on you. We got one coming for you. All right. Actually, what, we got that serial killer that's like loose in the West or whatever. I didn't know about this one, but oh. I didn't know about this. Do you know about serial killer, Donnie? Serial killer? No. Hold on. We'll get we'll get to it here in a minute. Yeah. Jealous wife screws nut onto cheating husband's penis. Ooh. For revenge. Ooh. It gets. Oh. Dude, they had to go to the hospital. And had to use an angle grinder grinder to remove this nut. So let me see. Um, let me try to find the. Do you see it sitting there? Hold on. Share screen. And it's. It looks like a washer. Right. Do they? Look at the nut. Yeah, it's a nut. That no. they wait, go back up. I thought I had it. another one. <laughs> Look at it. She oh. screwed it onto his dick. Oh, he must have had a tiny screwed? dick. I, that's that's what I don't know. She screwed it onto one. I don't know. I guess when it was limp, I guess. I guess you can and then it swelled because it cut off blood, and they had to use an angle grinder to get it off. Jesus. Ooh. How does that make you feel today, Donnie? Oof, that had to hurt. How there is can we clearly, if we have learned anything from the first two stories of today, let's not piss off any more women. Right. But yet we continue it to do it. Happening. Yeah. It keeps happening. Because men are stupid. <clears throat> We're stupid ladies. We know. We know it. We get it. Agreed. That's why y'all crazy. All right. Ready for this crazy one? And this kind of ties into what we were talking about earlier. And Jamie, this comes from your neck of the woods from Mayfield, Ohio. All right. This crazy woman has said that former President Trump and current President Joe Biden has shoved jelly beans in her vagina. She is a batshit crazy lady who had to get a wellness check by family and went batshit on police while screaming that the pre former presidents have shoved jelly beans in her vagina. Uh, hey, you know what? With this I, day and age, I could believe it. <laughs> I don't know what to fucking say to that one, dude. I see. I hey. try to come up. How see? I was trying to spin this in a funny way, like I always try to spin everything, and I just couldn't come up with anything. I can't. The jelly beans, Trump, bite. This is just a sad, sad story. I don't think it's a sad story. I think it's fucking tragic. Tragic. No. <laughs> fucking psycho. For the next election, can it just be like a new Democrat and then a Republican? You know what I think they should do? Like, what should happen? Like, who came up with the American Idol? <laughs> 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 Call in your votes. <laughs> like, I think we should do it like American Idol style. And it should be anywhere from anybody that's from 18 to you're shaking your head now. Okay, Maddie is 18. Oh, I know. Can you imagine no. the dumb decisions that would be making right now? This would be insane. That's I why like I shake my head. No. All right. 35. That's Can we agree with 35? It is now. It can stay that way. 30, but I would say between 35 and 50. That's we need someone in that. We don't need no 65, 70 year old motherfucker in this goddamn place. 
I think you can drop asleep. down to 32 now. Because 30 is too early. I think 32 is all right. Anyway, from 32 to 50, that yeah. age group should and it should be American. It should be American Gladiator <laughs> slash Ninja like, Warrior. Nope. It should be American. <laughs> dude, it should be American Gladiators, like a Ninja Warrior, and then like. Uh, what should we call it? Like a trivia, like what's it? Mind games. What's the one that Rob Lowe was doing where they put them in the chair and oh, they yeah. fucking have to do? I can't remember what that's called. A millionaire. No, no, it has that's to be like be like you one. have to be some sort of intelligent on your feet thinking. Did you know that Snoop Dogg was on? You you want to be a millionaire? Yeah, I knew that. They did the celebrity one. I can't remember. The Stop name with of that it. Here, anyways. So then there should be a combination of all that, and then all of, and then the people vote on the best one. That's what they should do. What do you think about that? Or you could just do it like South Park and pick between a douche and a turd. That's what you're going to get anyway. We did that in the last election. Look how well that fucking worked out for us. $40 yeah. to fill up my gas tank. Woo. Thanks. Anyways. Yep. Moving on. Moving on. All right. Here's one for the ladies. This one's going for you, ladies. Yeah. Oh, do you Women... want to know about the serial killer real quick? Because it's just quick. Dude, hold on. Woman fends off kidnapper with her dog's poop. Nice. Some dude fucking tried. To, lady was walking with the dog. Some dude kind of came up. She had a bag full of it and he shoved it in this dude's face. Nice. <laughs> and got him. That's how so she just said it. Did she like on. cream pied him or did she like throw it? <laughs> she cream pied him. Oh. With a fresh bag of dog dookie. Now, Good the pro- I wish you would have known what dog it was because if it's a Chihuahua bag, not that yeah. impressive. If it's a Great Dane or a Bull Mastiff pile, that is a bad day for you. And my it's man. a marking pile, so it's that runny stuff. Oh, oh, Jamie, just taking it over the top, <laughs> and we are proud of you. Good for them. <laughs> Good for that lady. All right, serial killer. Where was it? Where's okay? So what's up with the serial killer? I haven't heard this yet. So it's in like New Jersey area. There's bodies showing up offshore and everything. Like Dexter season two. Yeah, that was the joke I saw a few weeks ago, and I was like, I need to look this up eventually, and I just remembered it. But yeah, it's on East Coast. I thought it was West Coast for some reason. Didn't they have it a, was name, like, a name and, for it? No, they don't have a name because uh, years ago there was the uh, Long Island uh, slasher or whatever the fuck, something like that. Okay. Uh, Long Island serial killer, not slasher, but uh, they never identified them. But now there's new stuff coming up. And then like a few months ago in Washington, I think it was, someone found a suitcase on the shoreline and someone found it on that geotag app where it's like hey come and find random shit in your area yeah that was popular like a year ago or whatever they found it from that app and opened up the suitcase and it was just like uh, pl- uh trash bags huh. and smelt like death and ended up calling the police and it was a murder wow yeah and they made like a fucking tiktok about it before they found out it was a murder and then afterwards we're like oh yeah here's the report (laughs) by the way (laughs) oops i forgot about that (laughs) dude tiktok is becoming like one of the greatest it really tiktok might be the best app that nance pretty much created like you're getting all types of algorithm is so fucking great like i don't know how they find crackheads with numbers you know yeah like because i like that's all i like all i like is fucking crazy old black men that are fucking cracked out and talking about eating ass and their <laughs> religious beliefs and just crazy shit and are you, are you on tiktok yet no or just like i know your wife is autistic yeah, old ladies is. and stuff like that and i fucking love it and it just feeds it to me like yeah. that's all I see is just like fucking weirdos. Well, tick like what did tick so <laughs> you can watch TikTok TikTok and it'll every... it'll be people with like 20 likes and they'll yeah. give me 
300 of those videos somehow. And it's like, how do you know? Dude, I like how there's always every week there's like if you jump on like any news website, there is a TikTok video of on the news article of something like the like the person that put their feet, bare feet like someone on a plane put their bare feet between like the seat and the window and the next row in front and the person took a TikTok video of them pouring water their water bottle on these put this person's bare feet and then pulling them back i would have fucking let it on fire Don't put i would nasty ass fucking yeah feet on me. dude i thought it was funnier than shit there was a news article about that. One. Oh, here's the other. The news article I seen this week was the of TikTok was the lady who did the PowerPoint presentation to tell her parents that she is a stripper. <laughs> so I went on great. Instagram. How fucking you know TikTok? You just get some of the best shit out of it. <laughs> you know. Thanks, Jamie. We really didn't need that. <laughs> there was one that I saw of a girl that looked like Jim Carrey. I really liked that one. Why would you she like looked, girl with Jim Carrey? No, she looked exactly like Jim Carrey. And my thought is just like, man, she must have a trouble dating. Who? Probably his daughter. So, all right. No, it was just some random chick. And she could do his facial expressions and had like the same muscle structure that he has. Fire Marshall. And it was just fucking weird. Splooshing. Splashing. Yeah. Splooshing. <laughs> what? This weird. All right. Hey, did you, did it's, you do your homework? It's his shadow. No. Where did that? Oh, God. Yeah, I yeah. fucking saw that. Yeah, I watched yeah. it. All right. Everyone did their homework. Yep. Yes. The Fantastic Fun Guy on Netflix. How fantastic. I lost oh, my document. shit only twice. Why'd you lose your shit? Wait, okay. Anybody that know what we're talking about? Netflix has a documentary called Fantastic Fun Guy on there. Uh Talk about it basically follows what Paul's statement, 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 statements, statements, yeah. uh, basically follows him around. He describes the mushroom world to you and everything that's kind of going on and what they're doing. How fantastic of a documentary was and this, he's though. been kind of like the backbone of fungi ecology and shit for like 20 plus years now. Like he's been the guy that has been writing books constantly and updating people on like old shit that he would find and bring into new books and still yeah. show and uh he was just kind of like the the biggest pioneer in the mushroom community for fucking years already yeah that's what and, they kind of went over in the documentary they told they went over through all of that through there. yeah and it's just funny like i've been following him for like four years now and mm -hmm. it was because of the joe rogan podcast because he was on a few years ago and uh watched that one and got I can't I read or listened to one of his audiobooks and was just kind of like oh fuck and part of it is kind of how it ends of being like look if you want to help it's easy and just kind of being like just learn and spread the word that's all you have to fucking do to start and stuff like that it was kinda, good kind of shitty really good. yeah it was it's kind of shitty that they shit canned the medical research for that they did in the fifth, fifties or six in the sixties, I thought they or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they did, but the fact that you lost forty something years of, you know, research right. because big pharma, you know, you're not. And gonna, it didn't start back up until like Paul 2016 statement. or some yeah. shit like that. Like fairly recent. Yeah, about four or five years ago. Yeah, when they, I think but they said it in the document about four or five years. Anybody said. who is uh, in the medical field you know what i mean like you have to look at all the different kinds of treatments not just the fucking here let's pop a pill and feel better you know if, if you truly love medicine you will look at all aspects be it like homeopathic or fucking witchcraft whatever you know that but for them to shit can all that evidence you know and just be like yeah big pharma you know you have cancer cool we're gonna pump you full of ten thousand dollars a month you know of chemo or something of, I kind of wish it went more into like the personal placebo stuff because it kind of touches on it and being like, hey, this worked for me. I can't really say what will work for you. Yeah. yeah. But I wish that was kind of explained a little bit more in it because I think that stuff does have truth in it. Because like if you're Absolutely. taking something and have thought behind it, it does become mind over matter and with certain stuff. 
Yeah, uh, so. yeah, I guess. Yeah, you'd really have to have that. Like, you'd almost, it's better to have a guide when it comes like psychedelics, I would say, you know, when you're probably yeah. going to do that. It's, you know, like the shamans and the, I mean, they, or weren't, someone. they weren't doing it for fun. Trip they were doing it for like actual no, medical and that's reasons, what I mean. Which, yeah, that's what it's just doing. like a clinical trial. So that's whenever you but, see that, like, join my clinical trial, that's exactly how that shit goes. Yeah. Like, you're, you'll be in a group, you'll stay there for the two days or whatever it is. And, like half they of you monitor will actually yeah. get it and half of you won't and then... i was in a group like that and i was in the non yeah good stuff group <laughs> oh you didn't get the medicine you're no. in the placebo no so so lame I, yeah right well i'm still here so i guess something worked so that's a good thing good thing you're still here <laughs> but i thought you know the part that really got me in that documentary is when he uh when his phone rang and he started talking about his mom Mm-hmm. The that was the second one. The first one was uh the woman saying that she f- felt that she was beautiful and like I just broke down. I was just like, oh fuck. That she was worth someone loving her. Yeah. 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 That was another one too. Yeah. That when that that lady there was another that was the one where I kind of I had to pause it and walk away for a little bit. I did. I I'm an emotional man, man. And if that seriously helped her with stage, what was it? Stage four breast cancer. Yeah. Yeah. And she's 80 was 80, 70, something when it happened, she's still alive. It it had to do something. You know what I mean? Like how you guys feel about mushrooms and all that shit, like the Mm -hmm. healing effects. Yeah. I seriously think if they were able to like explore parts of the ocean that you would find cures for shit that we have no idea. You know I what I mean? Wholeheartedly believe that as well. There's I think there's so answers much... for everything, nature wise, and people are just too, too fucking. I don't think. Oblivious. Well, I think. I think there's. I think it's. Not there is. Me, but... I think there's a natural way to cure almost ninety percent of anything on the planet. I think man just gets in its own way. Yeah. Like. Funny. Yeah. I think. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tin foil hat it. You know. Like, which, like, I'm just going to say it because I'm going to say, like, what we're, I'm just going to take this as an example. Like, what we're in right now, we're in this pandemic, right? Not once have you heard anybody that says that is a doctor that is, has a D, R, M, D, whatever. Bunch of letters. On their chest or with their name on TV that has once said, hey, there is a, disease on here we don't know what it is we're figuring out as we go here's one thing that you can do to really help yourself and everyone else out around you we want you to go on a vitamin regimen of vitamin d vitamin z c zinc we want you to eat a meal plan that has leafy greens in it we want you to get outside and exercise and we need you to reduce your mass that will help you boost it just hasn't been on fucking tv dr drew said it yeah and then he got bashed on because he said one thing and then on dr drew after dark was like hey by the way this is going to be updated i'm trying to figure this out in the fucking moment obviously yeah and And he got bashed on by like cnn or something and (laughs) yeah and uh was just like, bro, I've said that I'm trying to figure this out and I'm going to say what is best knowledge at the moment. Yeah, and not one, per- not one person, <clears throat> hey, and you know what? That's going to make you healthy. That's going to help you boost your natural immune system. Yeah. He's been just uh, saying, like, if you can, if your body is the type of body that can handle keto, then do it because that's what is the best thing to do right now. Yeah. Okay. So not one part of, so Dr. Guru, cause Jamie watches YMH uh, YouTube channel religiously. So I guess he's the only one, but no one else. I don't, have you heard anybody say that like on the news? No. Anybody else? No. 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 Okay. Where's that person? Where's that health expert? Cause, cause it doesn't fit in with the agenda. Like the medical, like there's a difference between medical advice and health advice right? Everyone knows this right now. We need health experts right now to help everyone out. Like that would probably have been a little bit better than saying, let's get medical advice and everyone go get a shot that we don't know what's in it yet. And if you get the shot, great. I'm happy for you. If you don't get the shot, I'm great. Happy for you as well. Make your choice. That's why you got those choices. You know, I don't care about either way. You know, I judge you whether you're an asshole or not, Donnie. That's why I love you because you're my type of asshole. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't, you know, but, but the, like, it goes back to this mushroom. Whoa. Well, what don't we know? Like, what don't we know yet? A there's, lot. What are there? 30,000 different species of mushrooms? Oh, there's probably more than that. They said it in the documentary. I forgot it. There's some that will kill you, and then there's others that will heal. I mean. Just like berries. Oh, yeah. You eat strawberries, right? But you can't eat a. Uh... <laughs> dingleberry. <laughs> you don't want to eat a dingleberry. <laughs> yeah, you don't eat one of those. No, it's just, I mean. It was very interesting. But, you know, I think mushrooms are going to save us all. There's, I think when he, when he, they talked about the turkey tail mushrooms and there's another mushroom that the lady, the lion's mane. Yeah, that's a big one that I use all the time. So are you, ta- do you eat lion's mane or do you? Yeah, I take uh, capsules every day and I have mom on it uh, really? a little bit higher doses than me just because like she that's knows. my biggest yeah. fear of her for getting me. For cognitive age or con. Or would you, anyways? Yeah, I'll talk cognitive about AIDS. AIDS. Yeah. Con- yeah, yes. That big word. Jesus, dude, are you know me? I can't enunciate. What is cognitive AIDS? What's that? Age, 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 age. like age. to make you think better. Age, age. There's, I was thinking like the think better. Conge- oh, cognitive. Good. Thank you. Cognitive. I'm AIDS. thinking like AIDS. Like, no, oh, you got, it's a con- you got brain AIDS. No, AIDS. A-D-D, that's what you're calling dementia. Help. Dementia is just brain aids. Oh, no, just, brain aids. Brain there's aids. Your title. There's... <laughs> Fuck. God. Really? <laughs> like. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh, just fucking trying that was to think. all me. I, just I know. didn't understand. Yeah. And I would, I would even write it out. Brain aids. That's your title. <laughs> a period i period d period s period that's how i'm putting it but yeah i that, that's because and then here's a neat thing lion's mane supposedly if you saute it in oil with a little bit of butter it tastes exactly like lobster yeah when you cook it didn't know that might have to give that a shot i haven't tried it in I the th- full plant or the full it- an actual mushroom you just yeah. eat the pills yeah. yeah oh you know what i would like to this makes me want to start a mushroom farm. Start growing oyster mushrooms, lion's mane mushroom, mushrooms. I can't even say mushrooms. I see you eagle, evil eye on me right now. And that stuff, the only thing is, is you can't uh, sell it to restaurants unless you get licensed. Yep. Okay. You can go to, you can sell it at a farmer's market though. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Sell it to the farmer's market. It's a very interesting oh, documentary. Sure. I, told, I told my dad to watch it. I thought it was phenomenal. I thought it was really good. If you you know, if you got an hour and 30 minutes, 25, 20, 25 minutes, sit down and watch that thing. It's very interesting how they go over everything. And it's just not about the psychedelics. No, it's not. Like before everyone's like, oh my God, it's just about tribute. No, it's not. It's about other, <clears throat> other purposes and shit like that. Yeah. So I did catch out another documentary on YouTube. Or not on YouTube, but on Netflix called Count Me In. I saw that. I started to watch it, and the missus put a squash to that one. <laughs> Why? Because she's, she's not into documentaries. Dude, Oof. it's about drummers. I know. Here's my bitch about it, though. Donnie, name the top three. Name your top three drummers of all time. I want everyone to think of top three drummers all time right now off the top of their head. Jamie's Jamie going to come up with something dumb. Neil Peart. Uh... That's a tough one for the third. For those John Bonham, Keith Moon. Like, mm, yeah. John Bonham, Keith Moon, Neil Peart, Danny Carey, uh, Ginger Baker. Yeah. Like, okay. There's Babe, a lot of them. I'm missing. I'm nailed. I'm just rattled these dirts off. <laughs> Pretty much. Jamie. Chad Wackerman. Nick oh. Mason and Jay Weinberger probably my top three. Oh. Jay, we- oh, Jay Weinberger from Slipknot. Yep. Yeah, Max and then Weinberger's Nick kid. Mason, yeah, Max Pink Floyd, and Chad Wackerman is uh, Frank Zappa. They and did then, not. Wait a second. Who is? So in this documentary, they talk about they talk to Jane's addiction, 
Uh, they talked to Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They talked to a couple of females who are phenomenal drummers. They talked to uh, Carlos Santana's wife, who I about fell out of my fucking chair when I found out her age. I'm like, dude, I'm looking at her. Like, they're talking about like Carlos Santana. And yeah. they pop up her name, and it's like Santana. Or it says her last name. I'm like, I'm like, man, is that Carlos Santana's wife? I'm like, look at him meeting, marrying someone half his age. His wife is 61. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, my God. She is a gorgeous woman for Bravo, good for you, Carlos, and good for her and her phenomenal genes that she has. And David McGraw, if you guys uh-huh. haven't listened to Cattle Decapitation, you guys should. Mm-hmm. I've seen him. Donnie. Oh, All right, well, Donnie great. and young Jamie are going to be really good friends when they meet in person for the first time. <laughs> yeah. They did not. So they talked about all like the drummers, you, John Bonham. They talked to they talked to Taylor Hicks. They talked about John Bonham. They talked about, you know, Ginger Baker. They talked about Keith Moon. They talked about they did not talk about Neil Pert. Really? Not one mention. Hmm. Disgraceful. I feel like if anyone, even if you're like a big fan of punk and you're like trying to put punk drummers up in the top tens of ever. You're just dumb. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying there's, I mean, Travis Barker is a really there's good almost drummer. I mean, I'm none. not, kind of, and, you know, well, yeah. Travis Barker is that is like a producer now because yeah. that's just, he's separate from just drumming. Yeah. But I couldn't believe that they didn't, <clears throat> they didn't mention Neil Pert. They didn't mention Neil Pert at all. Ridiculous. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> I was flabbergasted with this. That is like kind that, of stupid. That other documentary where they had Jack White, Jimmy Page, and fucking The Edge. Oh, right. one of these it might get loud. Or... Not belong in this picture. <laughs> Dude, it was so. Have you ever seen that? It might get loud documentary. Yeah, I've seen some of it. I didn't watch it mostly because of The Edge. Exactly. You know? Like that, he does not belong I, in that group. I don't. I I despise you two that much. I like, dude. I love. Okay. You too. You like Creed? No. Shut up, Jamie. <laughs> don't ever say something that bring up something that dumb in your life again. Stop it. I don't want to hear it. I just have, yeah. Good, I go like away. God has like a really soft spot for Creed. No. He's gonna come out of the shower and be like, well don't slide away. Yeah, all this fucking dog singing. Shut up and down on a Sunday. No, I will not listen to Creed. I will not listen to Burt Kreischer's band. Ugh. So, uh, what was I saying? You got me all fucked up now, Jamie. <laughs> oh, it might get loud. Oh, Joshua Tree. I can. You two can suck it. The only album I like by them is Joshua Tree. I do. I do enjoy smoking a joint and listening to Joshua's Tree. All right, it's a really good album if you listen to it. Like if you're in the mood and you flip it on and you listen, yeah, to it if you like to, to listen to, to a dog singing, Creed. Yeah. Or Nickelback. Creed. Oh, Ugh. is that Nickelback? Uh, he was talking Joshua about U2. Tree? U2? U2. I was talking about U2. Joshua Tree oh, album. I've never listened to U2, really. Okay, so Joshua Tree album is a phenomenal album. So if you listen to it, there's nothing. it's a really good album to listen to. Smoke a joint, listen to fucking U2 Joshua Tree album. It's a good <laughs> album. After that, U2 can suck it. Go fucking plant a tree, build a well. You know, whatever you do, Bono. I don't give a shit. He laughs his ass all the way to the bank. Yeah, that's all I know because, <laughs> because there was the it was either the U2 or the V2 at Six Flags and they would only play U2 music while you were, you were on the ride. Mm. Oh, it's the Vertigo. Yeah, the Vertigo. Yeah, the Vertigo one. And uh, that's a whole mom, <laughs> while we would, whenever we would go to it, mom would talk about Bono like the entire time and be like, Oh, yeah, he just did this like fundraiser and all this stuff. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bono. All right. I have an update on a story though that we talked about before. Jamie, you might know. Donnie, do you remember the Kakistan bodybuilder who married his sex doll? Kakistan, yep. Yeah. Remember the khakis? The khakis. Yeah. Kakistan bodybuilder. Really... He married his sex doll, then had to send it off during the pandemic and they got a new sex doll while the other one was being repaired, while his wives were being repaired. 
and then got rid of the other sex doll when the wife got back. Does this all sound familiar, Donald? Yep. Are we all we caught up? About if he, he taped it up and threw it at a dumpster. Well, I think so. He might be the one that he threw, they found in France. Last he threw, week. Yeah, he threw it in the river, I guess. He might have. Nope. <laughs> he still loves his wife. He's still married to his sex doll, but he's now in love with an ashtray. Jesus. And it's a big ass ashtray. He is in love with a ashtray that he met at a club. You know, now, Donnie, we've all been to clubs. You know, the big standing ashtrays? Yeah. That's what he is in love with. He is in love with that ashtray. And you have to see this glorious love picture of him with this ashtray. Oh, boy. Dude, he needs some, like, serious body wax. He's from Kakistan. Right. It's cold there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can he get castrated for this? Uh, I don't know. Oh, dude, he has banana nipples. Ew. Look at that. Oh, my God, he does. He's got banana nipples. There's him and his bride. <laughs> He's just, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to say with this anymore. Uh, like, he oh, is wow. just... <laughs> <laughs> in love in love with it oh look oh, that is just oh. oh yeah jamie i think you need to reenact these <laughs> jamie i think you we need to reenact these with you my man this might be your own look at the only fan. pure joy on his face jamie i got your fucking only fans dude <laughs> totally got your only dude you just reenact these pictures <laughs> Look, oh that was God. just straight That's joy crazy. and happiness. Just he's he's gonna kill people someday. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen. I agree. You do so. Oh, here's the best part. He wants to add a vagina to it. He wants to get an <laughs> vagina put on the. How did you? So did you think he stole the ashtray or did you think he went to the club owner and was like, hey, man, your ashtray is really hot. Here. I want to take it home. The I ashtray left on its own, its own accord. <laughs> oh, my God. It Ubered. Yeah. He drugged the ashtray. Do you think he drugged it? Like he took it a roofie? He roofied it. <laughs> this guy went up to the bar, got a drink, put a roofie in the fucking gut, fucking it up, and then dumped it in. <laughs> <laughs> just here you go. Fucking pocket sand <laughs> it, pocket sand it with a fucking molly oh my gosh i don't you know that's an actual condition i cannot remember what it's called we but talked it's about it when, on yeah, when people fall in love with inanimate <clears> objects <throat> and if anybody ever watched that show nip tuck like back in the day there was mm-hmm. There was a guy that fell in love with their fucking couch in the doctor's office and was like having fucking sex in between the cushions with this couch. I like it. The smell of it, the Ugh. touch of metal on my skin. It's fantastic. He it probably like declares, <laughs> I like the touch of the sharp metal on my skin. It excites me. So I think you can understand what attracts me to this ashtray. Donnie, I like when other people scratch me. The fuck? <laughs> hey man, this dude likes when that ashtray just grits it. Uh, Objectophilia uh, is what it's called. There you go. So I don't even know what to say to that. Do you think it's he's like now just fuck? Do you think he's now just fucking with us? Probably. Oh, probably. Come just, on now. So are you thinking about four months? He's gonna come out and say, you know what? I'm in love with a toilet seat. Where else is he going to get his fucking five minutes of fame? He lives in where? Kakistan. Have you exactly. seen the video of people putting pocket pussies into mufflers of cars? Yes, but no, but show us offline so we don't get fucking tagged on fucking uh... There was uh, YouTube again. that came into uh, <laughs> Spencer's like fucking around and I was off clock 
And they came running up to people being like, you guys know where the pocket pussies are? Oh, my God. And all this stuff. And they came up to me and said it. And I was like, I don't fucking know. Nowhere for you guys. And you guys should probably get out, get the fuck out of here before you get in trouble. And they just kind of like froze and were like, ah. (laughs) Or Jamie working at Spencer's handing out sex toys to kids. All right. One last thing little open discussion then we'll wrap things up all right i I have a story if we want save it with you (laughs) it's a pretty bad one save it i'm not in the mood right now (laughs) jamie we've got a fat lady being pregnant save it save it for next week dude that's been humming along pretty smoothly here we've had some good laughs we've got some things off our chest we don't need you fucking it up like normal (laughs) how many emails i got because of your last story all right let's have an open discussion here <clears throat> how would you feel if you were this lady not expecting that my sister is marrying my ex-husband she was the maid of honor at our wedding and mom says i need to get over it this Fuck lady got that. right mom knows There's a some line shit. you don't cross mom knows some shit that's right. what that means once again, thank you, TikTok. TikTok user has gone viral after sharing a shocking story about her family was driven apart by the pandemic. <laughs> she needs some pandemic dick. So here, I'll give you the quick, quick rundown. Does anybody else remember that one time in 2020 when your sister, who was your best friend for your entire life, decided to get engaged to your ex-husband? Oh, dude, that's fucked up. Uh, The sibling had even been the maid of honor at the wedding to the very man who she was married to for five years. Yeah, that is seriously fucked up. Like Donnie said, that's that's the line you just don't. Right. Like, what if Michelle got with Carter's dad or something like that? (laughs) 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 Hey, man. <laughs> you really need to meet Carter's dad. <laughs> I'm not going to talk bad about the man. Um, I could say <laughs> with a straight face that that would never happen. Yeah, we're that's good. All, that's all <laughs> we got with that. And I would... Definitely think something was wrong with her if she was like, <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, whoa, hang on. Like, you're my best friend. What the fuck are you thinking? Oh, anyway. That's one of those, uh, you should have known better, you dummy. No, like, it- <laughs> just- dude. Oh. Hey, oh, you never, oh, you never met. Oh, <sighs> I'll tell you offline. Let's just let's just change the, like okay let's hypothetic like it would be like well your ex well your current wife is in kind of that situation you know when she was met the person that her ex boyfriend was dating at a concert that you guys were yeah. in the same car yeah it was awkward it was imagine very that awkward. as like your sibling and they're marrying your ex <sighs> yeah no. <laughs> I know with my brother, if you married my ex-wife, sorry, dude, you should have known better. Oh, I kissed a guy for the first time. Hey, man, stay on course for a second. We'll get on that in a minute. I just remember that. <laughs> just stop. We're going we're gonna to get into that in a minute. So this lady, like, I think this lady has a complete another bitch. Like, can you imagine Thanksgiving? No. Oh, yeah. Like, I what's Thanksgiving even, gonna be like? I wouldn't even go. Well, clearly, we're gonna have to fucking get another thing real quick. So, because Jamie just had to throw a curveball at us, so we got a few extra minutes here by before uh, we so go. So, that, that guy, the dude that's the husband, is fucked up. He gets the dickhead, Gary. That is a dick move, but my God, in and for her mom to be like, get over it. Does he get wait? Does he go? Maybe the mom's fucking him too, like all in the family. 
does he do you think he goes down in like player history because he got both sisters or do you think he goes down as asshole for fucking doing it asshole my opinion it depends it Jamie's depends frozen. on how the marriage ended true uh let's see how the marriage ended nope Jamie oh, went jamie, bye-bye. jamie black jumped off uh that me or you I think it was you. It's not me. Oh, no, I got an email. Sorry. I'm sorry. Did you just try to text me? Oh. Oh, hold on. We got to pause real quick. Okay. I got to look something up. We'll pause. Uh, All right. Jamie's back. Sorry, everybody. But uh, we had a moment of silence there from jamie no it didn't say how they're they, they were just married for five years that's all it really says in the yeah. story and then see because like let's say she started fucking around on him go oh, ahead yeah. and fuck her oh, sister. that's like yeah. the ultimate revenge <laughs> yeah yeah if he if, like if she cheated on him and yeah then she can the get sister, over it yeah then she can get over it but if there's no none of that or anything like that then if there was just like yeah. an amicable split, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. Very fucked up. But or if he cheated on the sister, that's really fucked up. Or her with the sister, that's even more. Yeah, fucked that's up. what I was saying. With and mom knows some shit. I was just like, it's got to be some shit. Yeah, mom caught him. You know. Yeah, <clears throat> but or you know, if my yeah, there's, there's mom's another... like, you guys are staying the fuck together now. Like that's or something the... like that because that's some shit that's happened to my family. You know what? I don't want to hear about your country backwards family. All right. Yeah, I would. So I would say this: if there was now, there's some, there's a key. I think that's missing. The either she. I would, we need to find out why they got divorced. Like, was there cheating? Was it just a right. split? Do they have kids? Do because they, you now know, you're going to be like, oh, your aunt is now your mom. So. Are they in Kentucky? <laughs> West Virginia. Actually, I think they are. I met the first part of Crystal's family, and it was the incest part of the family. Dude. Really? Hold on. Time out. Hey, man, I'm going to do a joint hour with Jamie's girlfriend for the YouTube channel. Heads up. Because I looked at her, and I said this joke. I cracked this joke. I'm like, so what kind of trauma do you have where you're attracted to young Jamie? And she went, and without missing a beat or batting an eye, her opening silo was this. My first memory is watching my mom push my dad off a third story balcony and him getting wow. his, and getting him getting his leg broke. I went and she stoned it. And I went, is that a true? I'm like, I started laughing and she goes, that's a true fucking story. I went, are you serious? She goes, and that's just the beginning. I went fucking write this shit down schedule it <laughs> write it down and she was like oh yeah and then she was like talking about west virginia and i cried she was like i don't know why everyone like wrong turn was stationed in west virginia i'm like it's because it's fucking inbred right and she goes and she goes and all of a sudden she just went silent and did yeah it just shit. got quiet and i was just like looked at her just like huh we were and i'm like what i'm like because me and jamie talk about shit like this and like we you know and i'm like wait what and she goes i don't want to talk about it anymore she goes oh you Listen, I'm not, listen, she goes, all you know, need is I'm not inbred, but maybe I might have a cousin, two first cousins that have kids together or something like that. I don't know. And I went, I fucking lost it. I'm like, I cannot wait to get you hit the record button with your crazy ass, just talking fucking dumb stories. And that's who I met. It was her mom and those cousins. And at the house, there was a dog that sang along with old McDonald and has a farm. And they just had a random goat. All right. So, Whoa. Like, and it was some serious backwood shit. Like, I was going down a fucking hill that was like 70 degrees, just straight fucking down. And the closest gas station was like five miles away. And ding, ding, just, ding, 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 ding. yeah. The bridge over to the house was made out of plywood and was falling apart. Nice. So I'm guessing you made out one of the in, with made out with one of the inbred cousins. Is that the first dude you'd ever kissed? No. Oh, okay. It was at a party we were at, and uh, it was like 
I Crystal was in my lap, and then all of a sudden, while we were taking whippets, someone, uh, John, one of our buddies, sat behind me and started like cuddling both of us. And I was like, "All right, whatever. I'm high as shit. I don't give a fuck right now." And uh, as a joke in front of Crystal, like uh, we kissed and just to like fuck with her, and ended up making her super fucking jealous. And it like had I had to go sit outside with her for like 30, 45 minutes with her crying and being like, "What the fuck?" And all... Jamie, <laughs> kids these days are so complicated. Yeah, you guys make shit weird. Like you make you do things just to make things hard on yourselves. Like this generation, like the generation that's starting to take the line. I thought it was a joke. It was a joke. He, and it was he's a joke. like actually into me. So that's what she was worried about. Oh, see, there's a see, dude, you're hurting now. You're fucking with people's feelings. Now you're being an asshole. You think yeah, it's partially. funny. You're thinking, and I'm gonna let you know something. You're fucking yeah, and like our we already apologized, I already apologized about it and figured it out. Like everything's fine, but it was like, oh, I fucked up. Yeah, you're hurting, you're out there breaking young men's hearts. <laughs> kind of <laughs> like someone did at a hamburger Mary's one time on a date with someone that he might have married, but hey, who it happened. I'm joking. <laughs> you know, it happens. My out wife there. got home. Get that bitch out of there. Young Jamie out there making out with dudes that are into him and just didn't know it. So I guess you <laughs> you did it as like a joke, not like yeah, for me it was a joke. Right. Was it? Yes. <laughs> Donnie is just stoned right I now, know. going, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Donnie is just so quiet. He's like, I don't make out with dudes, man. Right. I'm like, I got nothing really to give to this story. Like, Donnie's did you like, grow, but I don't want to make like, up with dudes. I'm like, did you play with his balls? <laughs> uh, did you couple them? Like, did you did you at least be a gentleman about it? <laughs> Played with his ass a little bit, but that was it. Oh, I hope I you got, washed your I hands. I got nothing. I, got, I hope you I washed got your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Jamie's just got to ruin the fucking podcast right at the end. Just got to <laughs> take it for a fucking turn. You know, let me tell you, but you know what? I don't blame him because he told me a story the other day, dude. Let me tell you how lonely young Jamie is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so Jamie tells me his his girlfriend was, ended up in the hospital for a couple of days over some issues. She's fine. Thank God. You know, everything worked out. She's fine. So I'm talking with young Jamie one night and we're sitting there talking. And he's telling me what's going on. He goes, man, I had this weird interaction this morning. He goes, I accidentally flirted with the guy at Wendy's. What? I'm like, how do you accidentally flirt? I, what did you, was he a, did you, was he a, you know, a gay gentleman? Was he a gay man? I don't don't think so. He goes, I don't think so. And then I'm asking these questions. I'm like, then how do you accidentally flirt with another person of the same sex? Like, that's not. You know, that's not gay. Like, you know what I mean? Amanda and I do it. That's because you are women and women, all women are bisexual. Right. <laughs> and so Jimmy goes, well, I'm a sinner talking to him. He goes, and I noticed that he had a tattoo on his arm that was of some band that Jamie likes. No, it was like biomechanical stuff, which oh, but, really isn't in style. It was fucking like 10, 12 years ago. Whatever. Jamie was like, oh, I man, I'm going dig your tat or whatever and started talking to the guy. And the guy hands Jamie his food, he says. And, and Jamie just drink and, and his drink, his card and his read seat and goes, Oh, have a nice day. And Jamie just stands there awkwardly, just staring at him. Just waiting for him to say something else. To continue on the conversation. And I'm like, just staring at the guy was like, All right, man. Like bye. Bye. And then Jamie's like, Oh, well, well, you have a good day, man. And just kind of walked out and he was just like. I just stared so lovingly at this guy that I, he, I was just flirting with him, I guess. I went, no, ding dong. I don't like, I don't think you were flirting with him. I just think you're so fucking lonely in the town of Ashland, Kentucky, because there's all of six people that live that are interesting that live in this fucking town. So when you see a dude that fucking works at Wendy's with fucking tattoos, you're like, this guy might be fucking cool to fucking hang out with. And instead of saying, hey, man, 
I'm fucking new in the area. Where can we get a beer or something and ask him fucking what to hang out and what music he's fucking into to start a friendship with the dude? You stared at him awkwardly and made it fucking creepy for this dude when he is just trying to do his job. And he was like, there might not oh. be some coming back from that one. <laughs> and it's, it's like, like not the guy was staring at like, me. He's be like this dude, weird motherfucker. He goes, I'm like, well, and I'm like, well, was, I'm like, well, was he at least hot? And Jamie's like, he was really cute too. He had nice eyes. They were very kind. And he fucking come in. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. Well, at least the dude was nice, man. I'm like, but this dude, I'm like, you tell it as I awkwardly flirted with a dude. He's gonna tell me like, listen to this creepy fucking kid that was the eight foot tall fucking linky motherfucker that was in here earlier today. It stood over me and just, wandered into my wanderly was stared into my eyes. Stared at me all creepily. I think he wanted to fuck me. No, he wanted a friend. That's what he wanted. Oh my god! So to him, it was flirting. To that guy, it was like a very awkward. Yep. Exchange yeah. with a customer <laughs> at Wendy's. Uh, okay. Poor James. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I got nothing on that. After that one, what do you got, Donnie? You're ready for the three day weekend. Everyone, oh, be woo. safe. You guys got plans? No. Yeah. I got it to help move shit. So that sounds like fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As your young lady moving in. Yeah. Moving along fast, are we? A little bit. It just feels right, though. And parents hey. are supportive of it and everything. So cool. Well, you know, when he met her mom and she was like, oh, you have mm-hmm. nice eyes. You guys would make cute babies. So basically, she gave her him to go ahead to dump one in her daughter. Hmm. I guess you just know. So you got mom permission to dump one in. So there's that. <laughs> Jamie, what do you got? Uh, Nothing much. All right. Just got to fucking figure out money shit with this. Well, have fun with that. Yeah. Hey, I'm hiring. You moved to Dallas <laughs> to get a job as a welder. I think the three-year plan is Nevada. There you go. Hey, we're on the way. We have my- <laughs> There you go. Baby, what you got? So the harvest line, basically all the Halloween shit came out for Scentsy today. So check it out while supplies last. Scented with a twist at Scentsy.us. There's nothing. Nothing Oh, um, uh, ovarian cancer awareness shade came out today. What color is that? It's like a really pretty fucking teal. You'll have to look it up. It's really pretty. Like, you would be like, exactly. You'd be like, ooh, bye, bye, <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lostlosers.com. You still got 15% off when you spend over 50 at the Lost Losers Halloween hoodie. Just got can't, went on sale today as of September 1st. So I'll keep that all the way up through Halloween. And then that will go bye-bye. So Lost Losers hoodie at the Halloween hoodie is on sale now pretty cool 30 bucks for the big boys it's 33 i think i got them I, we have a new discount on some hoodies so i kind of finagled with that one to be able to get it in a relatively sane price range so 30 dollars for those 33 for the big ones they go all the way up to a 5x on those is big boy xl no you're like cool. two and more i think is where to start no so three x three x four x and five x are when they start charging extra. 33 or thir- it's really weird on the price points on the hoodies they go from so my price point to make a profit and stuff like that, I get it at 30 and that basically covers, and that's about as cheap as I can make them. Yeah. And then for some reason at three X up, they go up $3 on my end. So I have to go $3 just to. That's yeah. almost everywhere though. Yeah. So like, if- and, and actually on the five X, it should be more, but I kind of taking up i don't think there's many people that are 5x out there but they are i'm kind of if they buy a 5x i'm taking a small hit so yeah. they are big boy hoodies that are out there also <clears throat> fo- follow us on youtube hit subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to fucking know when all the videos are coming up me and jamie are starting to do fucking little clips and starting to get like that oh by the way congratulations jamie on your non-paying job as our youtube channel manager <laughs> 
congratulations. So if you have any bitch moan complaints for any of the YouTube channel from now on out, please reach out to young James and yell I'll at him. Set up, yeah, I'll set up an email so I can get clips and stuff because I also like to just start showing clips and random yeah. shit. We'll start doing that. And uh, I have a soundboard set up and everything. So I just need to get mom to record a few yeah. things. So, like we, got, yeah, so we got some, we got things coming. We got things coming up that young Jamie's going to be bringing along the line for us here. Uh, and yeah, always dude, check out buried pleasures because I'm also helping produce some stuff over there also now. So, Hey, don't promote another podcast on this one. Not her. <laughs> Pollyanna's a good lady, but screw her. <laughs> Pollyanna is good. She's a good person. I'm just playing. Go follow her. She's good. Uh, so we got that coming along. And let's see. Uh, follow us on the Twitters at losers underscore lost. Follow us on Instagram at loss underscore losers underscore podcast. Uh, we got the TikToks now. Ankle underscore eater on Twitter. Donnie Scott, his Donnie, anything promoting? Donnie's like, I don't care. No. You don't just be in the background here for jokes. I don't promote nothing. Yeah, I'm just here for one-liners and inspiration. And titles. <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. <Yeah. laughs> we love you, buddy. Little cackles here and there. Little yeah. cackles. We really do appreciate you still doing this, even though you're, you moved far away. Like, yep. It's yeah. pretty cool that you're yeah, you that really dedicated friend. To meet you. Oh, yeah, dude. <clears throat> oh, Don, um, we'll talk. Oh, we'll end this. You know what? Thanks, guys. Fucking yeah. love you guys. Yep. Appreciate you, everyone listening. Goodbye. <laughs>